DC is in panic mode. They are doing everything they can to stop Trump. But no matter what they do, his polls just keep going higher and higher. But now I think they might have crossed the line. Let's get right into it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ANN American News Network. I'm your host, Vlad. I'm back from Florida. Back in my studio we got big things coming we got some great interviews coming your way and before we get into this story i want to thank the sponsor of today's channel they are midas gold group they are a second generation christian veteran family owned gold silver and precious metals ira firm they are located out of phoenix arizona they are the only ira firm in the world that is backed by Sebastian Gorka. They have customers in all 50 states. They have customers in Canada and worldwide. You can contact them at MidasGoldGroup.com or call them at 480-360-3000. Mention Vlad from American News Network. Get a bunch of free silver and some discounts. I'm protecting my money from Bidenomics. You should too. Let's get into my notes and into the commentary. So, this has to do with Trump's cases. The New York and the Georgia. Let's get into it. Major update coming out of Trump's major update coming out of the Trump New York trial as well as well as the Georgia indictment against Donald Trump. First, let's go to Georgia. A third person has pled guilty to avoid going to trial. Kenneth Chesaburo, a former attorney for Trump during the 2020 election cycle, has pled guilty to crafting documents that would put in alternative electors. The court is saying that these were fake electors that and that were crafted by Trump's team and put in place to try and overturn the 2020 election. Kenneth did admit to drafting the documents, so he's going to have to pay a $5,000 fine no jail time, and his felonies have been reduced to misdemeanors. Let's stop here for a second. They are saying that this man, right, Kenneth, Kenneth Ket Chesaburo, Trump's attorney, was part of the Trump RICO conspiracy to overturn democracy, to destroy the United States, to overturn a free and fair election by we the people. Right, a racketeering, a RICO case with a conspiracy. He was looking at at least 80 to 140 years in prison. And then they just give him a deal? Or all he has to do is pay a $5,000 fine and gets a slap on the wrist? Pleads guilty to a misdemeanor? Either, either they got to Hunter Stash down in Georgia or their case was so weak they don't want it in trial. They just want to, they're just giving out sweetheart deals to anyone. Have you ever heard of a Republican, especially a Republican on Trump's team to get a sweetheart deal from going to facing 80 years in prison to a $5,000 fine and pleading guilty to a misdemeanor? And they're okay with it? And the swamp, the DC swamp, the Uniparty is okay with it? They're not gonna set an example out of him? Interesting. But we're gonna keep following this and we're gonna see where this all ends. Now let's go up to New York. The judge has threatened to put Donald Trump in jail. So as you know, there was a gag order put in place Put in place from Letitia James as well as ja Judge Ann Guran of the New York fraud trial. The judge put a gag order on Trump, meaning Trump isn't allowed to speak about the case. Trump took down his previous posts he made about the trial from his Truth Social, but Let Letitia James' team went through all of Trump's Truth Social posts and comments and found previous comments Trump made about the case that he did not take down and they showed those to the judge. So the judge has been threatening Trump with jail multiple times now. Let's talk about 
the trial in New York. They are saying that Trump lied on paperwork when he got loans from a bank. Let's say he did lie. Well, what was the effect? You know what? It was a fraud. So who was fraud? Who was defrauded? Who did he scam? Who did he steal from? Who? What? What is the result of his fraud? Where's the victim? Because the applications that they are saying that Trump lied on to get those loans, he got the loans. He paid back all the loans over a decade ago. Some of these are from 2008, 2007. So he paid everything off. He never missed the payments, paid everything on time, paid it off with interest. Where is the victim? Where is the victim? Who lost money? Trump got the loan. He paid it off on time with interests. So here is where the DC is panicking. They thought this was going to take him out. It's not. By them giving out sweetheart deals down in Georgia, they are showing that they don't want this to go to trial. They understand that if people go to trial before Trump, they will be exposed. So when Trump's trial comes around, they're just going to say, hey, well, let's look at these examples. But Trump's attorney has come out, bashed them. She bashed New York for, for the gag order, for threatening him with jail time over something that has been paid off. They're... And now Trump's, Trump, is, Trump, because of their mistakes, is beating everyone and every single poll, including Biden. They are freaking out. They know they're dumb. They know Trump will be back. And right now, when we see with all the wars happening worldwide, people remember when Trump was in office, China, Russia, Hamas, Nobody was messing around because America was strong, because America had a strong leader. Right now, America is weak because we have a puppet leader. Ladies and gentlemen, more updates to come. You know I love you guys. Thank you for all your prayers while I was gone, for all your support, kind emails, kind comments. Love you all. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit that bell notification button so you are notified every time I upload Trump 2024 or sooner.